everybody, welcome back to my channel. Okay, I'm here with a good one. I'm gonna talk to you about the GHD Oracle. It's new. I got given this a couple of weeks ago and I've been getting to grips with it. I have the knack, I know what I'm doing now. Yeah, so this is new from GHD and this is aimed at those who find it hard to use the regular GHD to do the curls. So I was invited into the Peter Mark College recently so that they could show me how to use it, explain all about it and I was just, I still don't know how it works. Like I'm not even joking you, every time I'm doing it through I'm like how is this working? I don't know. So this is what it looks like, okay? Can you see? So this, this is the bottom part, this is the top part and it looks like a little crimper. You can actually crimp with it and I know I'm all up in your grill but like listen, this is the bottom part. So these plates are cold even when you have it turned on, these plates. And so it's the center part here that heats up. So you can do basically three different looks with this. You can crimp, which I haven't done yet because I went through the phase of the 80s where you crimped your hair on purpose. Um, but if you did want to crimp it, you clamp it down, go down a little bit further, clamp it down, clamp it down. See, if I went to crimp my hair, I would look like the absolute Hermione Granger. I'd look demented. You can do a boho curl that's kind of more wavy that way or like a more of a ringlet curl. I'll show you. And um, there's only one heat setting. This is the on button here. Now listen. I know, you hear that? So the light comes on and then it will do that again. And um, there's a little stand at the bottom here that you can set it on your table. I wish that they had given a little heat mat um, in it. I'm presuming that this is heat, heat, what's the word, heat resistant, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to do my hair, where's my brush? So I'll split my hair in my parting and then I'll split it down the back and bring it forward. I'm gonna start on the far side. Well, I start on this side. I'll start on this side. I'm just going to section my hair off. I look so good. And then I'm just taking this section and splitting that. And I will usually start at the back, but for this video, I'll start at the front. So what I've learned with this is there is an act to it. It's easier doing it when you're looking in a mirror. So I'm going to use my little viewfinder as a mirror. And I have a mirror here that I might need to look into. But the hairstylist who helped me, Emily, she was so patient because I was like, what are you doing? So she said to have the logo facing forward. Oops. And then you clamp down on the hair, I'll show you in a sec, you're going to twist it 90 degrees and then either bring it out or down diagonally. I know. So we're going to take like just this little piece of hair here. I'll put that back there so you can see it. So I'm going to do the wavy, so I'm going to bring it down rather than out. So looking at the thingy, clamp, twist it 90 degrees and then just see the way I'm dragging it down on the diagonal rather than bringing it out horizontally. I don't know how it does it. I don't know how it does it. I don't know how it does it. Like how does it do it? Like it's just a little thing. So yeah, look, I can touch these things because they're um, cold, but you can feel, I can feel that the whole base of it is starting to get warm as well. Okay, ready? It's hard to see what I'm doing. That, clamp it twist it and then bring it down diagonally and like with the regular GHG straighteners the slower you pull this through your hair the tighter the curl no I don't know how it does it now Emily was twisting it see if this looks any different so I'm bringing it out which is kind of harder to do but I can do it with one hand. I'm just being awkward. I'm trying to stay in frame. So that's more of... Wait. So I'm trying to do it so I can see it. So I'm going to just twist the hair. Because that's what Emily said to do. So that's more of... See the way it's just at the bottom of the hair? More so than these little ringlety parts. Look at that one. Now see the way that curl is a little bit more corkscrewy compared to these ones. Okay, that is a good representation of the different curls. That one's more of a diagonal where that's more of a corkscrew. It just makes me so happy. You can go over pieces as you need to as well. It's just like it's your regular straightener. So I like to just do it nice and slow. I can usually do my whole head in about 15 minutes or so. And you can see that my hair is quite long as well. Um, and I just realised that I forgot to put in a heat protectant. That's okay put in a hair mask when I wash it next. But um, this is warm, but I can still hold it completely with one hand. 
I don't need one of the gloves. But as I said, um, the longer that the oracle is on, the hotter it does get. So you might need to just get your glove just in case. Ooh. And if you want, I think I've said this already, if you want a looser curl, you move down the hair quicker. If you wanted a tighter curl, you move down your hair slower. Oh, that's like just one quarter done. Look at my hair. Oh. I know I'm making like real weird noises and I know I look mad here. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I've done the front part of this side, the back side, and then I did the back side of this one because it's really hard to go in from front to back. I know, I just have a, a system. Um, so I'm just gonna take the last little section, brush through it all, and then again, I start from the back of this section so that I can flick it back, just so I'm not gonna torment myself. So on this side, on that side, we have to make sure that the logo is facing forward and go out that way and bring it down diagonally. And then it's the same on this side. So, and take a smaller section of hair. So I'm going to go underneath the hair so that the logo is facing forward, flip it out 90 degrees and then I'm bringing it down on the diagonal. And I like to hold the end of the hair just to give it a bit of tension. Like, how does it do that? And then I just twirl it. If you're somebody who has wanted to do GHD curls in the past and just hasn't been able to get the knack, I'm hoping that this is helpful and um, that you can just see how how easy this is. So I'm going to turn it off now. And then set it back into its little rubber holder thingy. This is what all the curls look like initially. If you see pieces that you'd like to go over again, just go over again with them. So what I'm going to do is this, yeah, that's pretty much curl, is I will take my hairbrush, it's full of hair, and just gently brush it through to soften everything. Because I did the curls in all the same directions, see the way they all kind of like sit into one another but I'm not finished yet am I where's my stuff hold on let me brush this side as well I'm just brushing it gently this is my favorite texturizer I've been going on about this loads over on Instagram so sorry but not sorry because it's fab and it's from Joyco now see the way the hair is all like smooth and it's like very perfect I'm gonna mess that up right now gives a texture and body and oomph. Oh, I missed everywhere. Mm. Oh, I love my hair. If you wanted to put an oil in the lengths of your hair, go for it. If you wanted to put whatever you want, like hairspray, I just love that because it gives movement and it still gives um, lots of like oomph to my hair. I need oomph. Oomph. Otherwise it's just, anyway. If you'd like me to do a video showing how I do regular GHD curls, let me know in the comments below and I'll get onto that. Cause I can't remember if I've done it or if I've just done it on Instagram, not sure. This gets two whopper thumbs up for me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be wearing my hair curly a lot more now because it's just, it's quick, it's easy, not much faffing about at all. And as I said, once I'm facing myself in the mirror and I can hold that the logo is that way and it goes down that way, or hold the logo and then it goes down that way, I'm grand. I don't know if I'll ever understand how it works. I feel like it makes my highlights like look alive again. Now at the moment this is exclusive to Peter Mark in Ireland and it's 199 euro. I know that that's a bit on the spendy side um, but it's so worth checking out. And if you're unsure because I know that it is a big commitment like especially when it comes to you're talking a couple hundred euro go into Peter Mark and ask them to use it on you like if you're going to get a curly blow dry or if you're going to go in to get your hair done get them to use it and they'll be able to show you how easy it is and they'll probably even give you a go so you can like do a few bits yourself and for me the curls stay in just as long as if I was using the regular GHD as well Um, I'll still use the GHD I use it to straighten my hair. This is a bit more travel friendly um, and versatile if you're going on your holidays and if you want to be able to straighten and curl your hair, whereas this is just curls, even though it does a couple of the different curls. I will try the crimping mechanism and let you know, but you're just gonna look at me and be like, no, 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 no. Um, but right now I'm loving the volume and the sex of hair. And the girl look good. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about the article, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye. Now I'm going to like zhuzh my hair.
Oh my god, my humbun is gonna be fierce later. <laughs>